Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Penguin and welcome back to Farmers Miller 17 Garage Tour. Now today, we've already looked at tractors and harvesters. Today we're going to look at tippers um, and wagons. So, I mean I've got I've got three categories, tippers, auger wagons and loader, loader wagons. Uh, so yeah, I'm a... Uh, I'm going to go get them all out, customize them if there is any customization options and then show you show you them. So, I'll be back in a moment. Right, here we are with all the trailers, um auger wagons and loading wagons for the game and you can see there's a JCB down there. Uh we'll get to that at the end. I'll, I'll explain why that's there. So, like the previous ones I've done, they're all going from small to the largest, small to the largest, small to the largest. So we'll start off with the smallest. This is the Metal Tech DB8, uh, I believe. This is the, uh, the starting trailer you begin with in the game. And you can customise this, you can customise the uh, the wheels. Um, you can have standard and wide. See that one on there is a standard and these are wide wide wheels. I'm not sure if I customise the colour on this one, I don't think I did. I don't think you can. But yeah, that's what you start off with, it's a uh, it's a dolly type trailer, they're not mine. I don't like them just because they're a pain to reverse, you've got to be good at reversing those. This is the Brantner trailer, uh, I'm not sure the number, like, that might be it. Oh no, that's just, that's a logo. Oh, I think it's on the side, but because I've painted it in white like an idiot, yeah, it's there, but I can't read that. Uh, it's a brand new trailer. It's the one that you started off with in FS15. It's been brought over. Pretty nice starting off trailer. Farmtech, another new brand. Oh, no, in fact, no, it's not. Tell a lie. This was part of the Gold Edition for Farming Simulator 15. Uh, was used on Sosnovka. Uh, never seen one in real life, but it's a nice trailer. Um, again, you can modify. You can modify the Brantner. See, I modified the colour and the wheel colour. I just put red just to be just to be silly. And I think I modified the wheels as well, but I I can't actually remember. But on this one, you can modify the wheels on the uh, the farm tech from standard to wide. I put wide on. And you can modify the colour. I believe no, not this one. Just the wheels. Here we have the. Let me just get this right. The Kroger Agroliner, I believe. No. What is this? Oh, it might be the Agroliner, actually. They look pretty much the same. Let me just check that in the... Uh... Yes, the... Oh, yeah. Kroger Agroli Agroliner, the... This is the HKD302 and the TKD302. So the only difference between these is one's like on a dolly and one's a fixed drawbar. Um, I'd go for the fixed drawbar every time. On this one you can modify the wheels. Again, I put wide and you can modify the colour. I just went for white panels. And on this one you can modify the wheels, but I left them as standard just to show you. And you can also modify the colour and I went with a dark green. Pretty nice. All of the trailers, I believe, that come with covers have them applied, apart from the Brantner trailer. I'm pretty sure that does come with a cover. It did in FS15. Um, so, yeah. Just putting that out there. This is the Joskin Transpace. This, now we're getting onto the really big trailers. Um, it's a grain trailer. It's pretty nice. New to the game. Uh, it was a mod for FS15, but no, I like it. Here we have the Crampe, I think it's Crampe, or is it Cramp, Crampe, Crampe, I'm not quite sure, uh, Bandit 750, this was part of FS15, um, it's what, it's like a walking floor trail, it's like a conveyor belt, that's how you deposit your uh, material, it doesn't lift up, this one. This is the, is it Kroger, um, let's see if it, does it have a model name? No, I don't think it does. But this one is the it's the one again it's got like a walking floor. Um 
In fact, this actually might be a walking floor system. But it has the it has the thing on the back where it pushes it out. So well, in real life all your material would be out. This here you can see this this thing here pushes that way and pushes all your material out. This is the Joskin What's that one? I imagine that's the Dros Dros Joskin Drakkar. Um I believe it's uh it might be just a grain trail, let me check. Yeah, it's just a standard grain trailer along with the Kroger. But what I like about this is, at first I thought, oh, it's see-through, but it's actually glass. It must be. It, it's probably not glass. It's probably the Perspex plastic, uh, like bulletproof, bulletproof stuff, um, which is nice to see how full your trailer is. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, I don't know how this tips out. I'm not sure it might. I doubt it lifts up. I can't see any cylinders underneath. So maybe it's like a walking floor system again. Hmm. Maybe so. Now we move on to the uh, the last three big trailers. Here is the Flegel semi trailer, but I put the dolly on it just just to show you because we haven't looked at trucks yet, um, and I thought I might as well feature dollies in this um, in this episode. Again, walking floor system with the uh, push back thing. Pretty cool. Here is the Crone Silas trailer, and what I like about this is they had this in FS15, but they didn't they didn't add an option to put the well, it's not an option, but the feature to uh, put like a, a net over the top because chaff is, I imagine it's really light. So when you're driving down the road or whatever, and if it's windy, the chaff will blow out. So They've added that for a bit more realism. But this is just a silage trailer or a chaff trailer. You can't put any grain in it. Then we move over to the big crampy... Is it the big body, this one? I'm not entirely sure. But again, it's a semi-trailer from FS15 along with the Flegel. And uh, yeah, I've put the dolly on it just to show you again, the Flegel dolly. Um, just to show you how it works. Okay, so you can't customise any of these at all. Now we move on to auger wagons. This is the Metal Tech uh, auger wagon. Smaller. That's the uh, the number. The PP20. I do apologise that these are all like close together. It's just how they are when uh, when you buy them in the game. Uh, I can't remember if you could modify this. I don't think you could. No, you can't. It's an it's an Olga wagon. Um, I've, I think they're more commonly used in the US. Uh, very rarely used in the UK, but there you go. Pretty nice. I've not really used them much in farm sim, but I plan to use them a little bit more. Nice. Uh, I say a little Olga wagon. I bet it can hold it. Mm. How much can it hold? I'm going to take a guess at thirty thousand. 28, wasn't that far off. Here is the Bergman GTW430. Again, uh, well, it's, it's, it's a new model to the Farm Sim series. In fact, both are. I forgot which one was in a Farm Sim 15. I think it was a Bergman, but it wasn't this big. Um, I think this holds about 40,000 litres. So it is pretty big. It has a cover on top, you can see inside. Pretty cool. Right, over to the loading wagons. This is the Pottinger Euroboss uh, from FS15. Nice little um, forage wagon. That's all I can say about that, really. The Bergman Repex, Repex, I'm not sure. 34S uh, again from FS15. Another, it's like a medium, medium to small, judging by the next two. Um, medium sized forage wagon. This is new, the Lely Tigo XR775D. 
pretty big forage wagon. I like the front on this. This it just looks really nice. I don't know why. I have a feeling that lowers down. Or does it push up maybe? I'm not entirely sure. See if I can get up on top. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is about here. I'll hook it up to the tractor and we'll have a play around with that. The Strootman Terra Vi Vitesse. <laughs> I'm terrible at pronunciation. 5201 Do. Do. The biggest forage wagon you can get. Uh, I believe this was in FS15 as well. Walking floor system. Pretty cool. And then here, yeah, just. I mean, you've already seen the Fleagle Dolly, but just up to the hooked up to the JCB, just to show you how it works. Right. What I want to do is, is just hook up to that forage wagon because I want to see how it works. Right. Oh. You can lower it up and down, but that's it. So that's just for like the different, like a different type of tractor. But no, I thought I thought that had moved just with those being there. Obviously not. Oh well. So yeah, that is your trailers, your loading wagons, and your auger wagons. Let me know what you think. Um, We've got a nice selection here, um, from the smallest all the way up to the largest. Um, I think FS FS17's all about big machinery this year. I remember FS13 was like it touched a lot on small machinery. FS15 was kind of in between, and FS17 they've kind of gone all out, and there's not that many little machines or implements. Uh, kind of gone onto the. Uh, large scale farming but I like them all apart from the, the dolly trailers just because they're a pain to reverse but that is it for now thank you for watching, please like, favourite and subscribe and I'll see you next time for some more Farming Simulator 17 ta -ra.